Guys, it's me, Keisha, and I'm here with this week's All T All Shay Basketball Wives LA Season 5, Episode 1 Review. So, um, I watched the episode this morning at like 3 o'clock this morning, um, and it was quite entertaining for what it was. We pretty much started off where we left off last season with Brandy and Shawnee's um, argument where Brandy called uh, Shawnee a bitch <laughs> and told her, you know, that she's uppity and she's snooty and she's mean. And then uh, Shawnee basically then voted her off the island, honey. She was like, bitch, this is Survivor and your ass is gone. You are an ex-member of fucking Destiny Child. It's time for you to fucking go, Latavia and Latoya. Um, so basically... Brandy is back in Dallas and she's trying to figure out whether or not she wants to return to LA and she's discussing this with her BFF slash sister. They're not really sisters. They just call themselves sisters. This new chick that's a part of the cast, her name is Duffy. Cute, light skin, red bone chick with a short haircut. Her is slamming. I love her haircut. Um, and Duffy is a DJ. She has a child and she's engaged to a sports agent. Um, and so far, I don't know about Duffy. I don't know if I'm going to really like her or not. I don't know if she's going to be a great addition to the cast. Um, it's just something about her that's rubbing me the wrong way already. Um, Duffy basically tells Brandy not to let Shawnee or anybody run her off of going back to L.A. And she tells Brandy that she wants to go to L.A. And that she's going to leave her fiancé behind to go pursue her DJ in L.A. We all know that that's just code for I'm going to LA to film this goddamn show and then when it's over I'm taking my ass back to Dallas to be with my man um and I'm sorry I'm just over Brandy and her antics like I'm sorry that she had cancer I'm happy that she's a cancer survivor I have you know my grandmother died of ovarian cancer it's a real thing but other than that Brandy is a fucking bitch uh, she's annoying as fuck. She's irritating as hell. She's angry all the time with her strong ass facial features. Like you can't have strong facial features and be angry all the goddamn time. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you so fucking angry? Like you should be the happiest person on earth dealing with what you deal dealt with and surviving it. Why are you so fucking mad? Like I feel like she's taking her anger out on her husband on everybody else. Like cause you over there married to this cheating ass motherfucker and you did Side to stay with this man and keep on giving him chance after chance and the anger that she should be taking out on him she takes out on the ladies and i'm just tired of her that wig was terrible that pissy blonde ass wig trying to give us fair false realness trying to mimic marilyn monroe and it was marilyn monroe and i'm like you too big and broad and shaped like shack to be so fucking mad and you just so mad and buff and i'm like what are you on steroids like what is wrong with this chick like i just cannot with her she's too big to be mad all the goddamn time Yo, Andre the Giant looking ass. Like, I just cannot with her. I'm over her. I understand now what Dre was talking about about her last season. Dre just didn't articulate herself in the right manner. Because Brandy's fucking irritating. She's annoying. She's sad. She's just miserable. And she wants everybody around her to be miserable as well. Malaysia need to drop that motherfucking zero and get her a motherfucking hero. Basically, this episode was everybody had horrible wigs. It was like... A horrible wig epidemic. It was like, where are y'all getting these fucking wigs from? Like, I have $30, $40 wigs that look better than the shit they had on their fucking head. And who in they camp is telling them, girl, that's the business. Wear that on national TV. That's the one. Because they are lying to you hoes. They set y'all up to be on this season premiere looking like fucking donkeys. Like, oh my God, Malaysia wig was terrible. Her shit was dry as fuck. That motherfucker needed some Pantene Pro B, some motherfucking... Uh, pink moisturizer, some oil sheen up in that bitch. It was so dry and brittle, and she kept on trying to swing that shit all around. I'm like, girl, sit down somewhere. Then Tammy had on a fucking gray ombre wig with some tight ass curls in, and I'm like, why do you have on a gray wig? You're already old as fuck. Why do you want to look older? She was serving us mama's family realness. I was just like, girl, sit down. Then Malaysia had a terrible ass blunt cut um red wig and i'm like girl this is not guardians of the galaxy where are you going like where? no and then angel had this old kinky ass curly ass wig on giving us latoya jackson realness and i didn't i didn't i didn't understand it i was offended by it i felt disrespected i didn't know why they was wasting my time with these wigs 
I didn't understand it. It was just, it just, it made my head hurt. And I was like, I had already went to sleep yet. And my head was hurting from lack of sleep. And then these wigs was pissing me off. I just could not. Everybody her looked terrible. Shiny kept on giving us pedestrian realness. Nothing is special about Shiny. Um, Tammy gave us some great one-liners as always. Um, Angel and Malaysia are still into it over that damn dress debacle from last season. I'm like, can dress gate be over? Nobody cares. Come up with a new storyline. They also have a new addition to this cast. I forgot the young lady's name. She's a cute little chocolate petite girl. Um, really like her. She was just beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, Jackie's still crazy as ever. <laughs> Jackie's still crazy, sweaty, and just look like a sponge, <laughs> like a sponge cake. Um, so yeah, so, um, I know this season, the Duffy girl and Tammy are going to get into an altercation. I cannot wait to see that. Other than that, nothing really amazing really happened in this episode. Everybody just looked like trash, and I was just like, who is styling y'all? Malaysia had on a really cute green outfit with that braid. Uh, that was really cute. I love that outfit. Oh, my God, that outfit was everything. Um... Malaysia and the girl Duffy, when they met, they didn't really get along. Malaysia wasn't really feeling Duffy. She was being territorial over her friendship with Brandy. And I was like, girl, okay, whatever. Um, what else? I think that's it. Like, it really didn't give me anything. It was just like a starter episode. So, we'll see. Um, I'm going to do episode, uh, review videos every week on Basketball Wives LA. Let me know what you all thought about this episode down in the comments section. And uh, make sure to thumbs up this video. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Thank you for subscribing. Um, yeah, make sure to share this on all your social media sites. And if you have not checked out my Power Season 3 Episode 1 review video, check it up. Check it out. It's up now. Uh, yeah, I just want Brandy to stop being so big and mad. Like, it's just not attractive. Like, veins and shit be popping up by her neck. She look like she about to turn into the Hulk. Like, girl, get a protein shake and go bench press something and sit down somewhere. Girl, oh. Anywho, I love you all. Thank you all so much for watching this review video. Have a safe week and...